Sum Nubria remote regions of northern Cork and Nepal border in Tibet, China. More than 13,000 people inhabit in these regions. Sum Nubri with an area of 1663 square kilometer lies in the central Himalaya. Some of these villages are so remote that even the basic services are hard to come by. Nepal's two major earthquakes of magnitude 7.8 and 7.3 in 2015 killed more than 9,000 people. One of the major yet obvious reasons behind the casualty is damage and collapse of the buildings and other man-made structures. कुनै घरहरु चाहिँ अब म्यानेजमेन्ट अब सरकारबाट कस्तो आउने हो अब फेरि डिजाइन कसरी बनाउने भनेर कन्फ्युजिङ भएर के हेन्स वन अफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेन्ट प्रायोरिटी एट द मोमेन्ट इज हाउ टु इम्प्रूव बिल्डिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स इन द विलेजेस सो एज टु सेभ ह्युमन लाइफ्स एन्ड प्रायोरिटीज फ्रॉम फ्यूचर अर्थक्वेक द रिक्स फ्रॉम पोरली बिल्ड बिल्डिंग्स ड्यूरिंग अर्थक्वेक एन्ड नेसेसरी प्रिभेन्शन मेजर्स वर हाउएवर टु सीरियसली ल्याक इन विलेजेस the owners, builders, merchants, and carpenters are eager to learn how to build all quick resilient buildings. International aid agencies, local and individual assistance on immediate relief rescue was received excellent. However, one of the most important moments of the history to use the lessons from the recent earthquake to improve the ways how we build our houses is already forgotten. People want to rebuild the houses, however, they are not getting any technical assistance or information on design prototypes, models, and promised financial supports. Tsum Nubri is an organization established after earthquake to facilitate long-term rebuilding. About 72 hours after the earthquake, a group of young people from remote regions gathered to coordinate assistance from all over the world and to collect first hand information from the region not only to help search rescue and relief operation but also with an aim of helping long term rebuilding specifically in Zoom and Nubri. With its comparative advantage of knowledge and local geography connections with people and the culture, the organization carries out awareness program on earthquake resistant buildings in nine villages in countries remote and most affected villages of Gorkha. The basis of the program is not only to encourage owner-driven rebuilding program, but also to share international good practices and available know-how to improve seismic performance of traditional buildings. The initiative is led by a local architect, Sonam Lama. He, along with architecture students, builds typical dry stone masonry oh, building model. They know the model will be an interactive tool to discuss with owners, builders, merchants, and carpenters on how building can be built safer from earthquake. Apart from seismic performance of building, the team puts their best efforts on understanding local architecture, use of materials, and space requirements. Sharing ideas and basic knowledge on how villagers can benefit rebuilding their houses or quick resilient is the main objective. In return, the team also learns from the villagers on what helped minimize the damage in local houses during the horrific moment. Interior work is a cut or use got the reason. A two cut or robot or say, take the name of one of the same decoration to plus so they said this mati bunny or quick but a day this nigga that they didn't know what they got. I'm not a bomb, but say, well, you horizontal bench, but then you would have told me to do some of the project. You would get to part of me, I need to use what they did the same one. I mean, I started like it. Come here, let's see. I could post it, but it was using the rest of the same. We will continue to help rebuilding of remote communities of Nepal, such as Chum and Nubri, and accessing the vital information that will help create a safer future.